in a car you will be able to mark that day that from now to the future something shifted about my life has given you a tale of my experience with Apostle Selma. It was one meeting. My entrance into scriptures came. When in the Lord he laid hands on everybody's head. Grace, grace, grace. And I told Jesus in my heart. I said, ah, this man is already climbing the stairs. This grace will make all of us the same kind of pastors. I said, Lord, what I want is, I don't want his miraculous grace. I want his depth in the word. And as he was climbing the step, one step, one step, he got to the top, he turned back and then came and stood before me and said, God heard you. I, I didn't say it loud. I didn't say it loud. So even the movements of your thoughts, God can pick your thoughts. You see, he canceled my theology that prayer needs to be audible. God heard you and from tonight you begin to drink at my level and so he walked back and I told the guys that we went to the meeting together I said me I'm going home there's, there's no gospel to hear again when I stood on the following Sunday preaching people asked me what happened to you I was sharing with him that my wife is an ex-Muslim. She came to, to begin to fellowship with us because she started hearing certain utterances and started asking people, is Apostle Selman in Obomosho? Who is this guy? So sat under me and after a while, a member became wife. We have a few minutes, but we mingle will be mingled with the spirit again tonight we have just few minutes we have just few minutes because you cannot stand for him if he has not empowered you he told the disciples tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power it's more than oil be rubbed on your head is that there is a reality that is walked into you he takes you over I never knew him was Peter's utterance. I never knew him. I swear I never knew him. Oh, but on the day of Pentecost, Peter came under an influence and he stood and announced, Men and brethren, Peter, what happened to you? It was a mingling. It was a mingling. A little child testified against him. He released a curse word. But all of a sudden, the Bible said that when they were caught and beaten, Peter said, Woe unto us if we do not preach. Choose in your minds if it is better to obey men or to obey God. Peter, what happened to you? There was a mingling. <laughs> 